A very good morning to Expresso family. If you've just tuned in, we are coming to you live from the Belito Pro 2019, the oldest running surfing competition. And with me is Sal Masikel. I'm very honored to be standing next to him. He's an actor, he's a singer, he's a, uh, the son of South African jazz legend Hugh Masikela. And of course, he's the event ambassador for the 2019 Belito Pro. Sal, thank you for chatting to us. Yeah, good morning, man. It's nice to be here with you. And I'm going to start off by asking you, how did your passion and your love for surfing start? You know, I grew up in New York City uh, where there was no, no, no surfing. And then my, my mother and my stepfather moved to California um, when I was 16. And I moved to a town where this is what everybody did. And we were maybe uh, a kilometer from the beach. And um, the first time that I stood up on a wave, it was like a spiritual experience. I was 16 years old. And uh, I, I remember falling off the wave standing up and being like, okay, I think I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. And let's talk about your involvement in the Belito Pro. How did that come about? How long have you been involved with the Belito Pro for? I've been trying to get to the Belito Pro for like the last five years, um, but it's never really coincided with my work schedule at home. I'm, I'm a presenter and I, I do a bunch of things uh, for Red Bull Media House at, at home. But this year, um, the window was perfect. The organizers contacted me a few months ago and asked me if I wanted to come down and be the ambassador, which was really humbling considering last year was the four-time South African world champion, Sean Thompson, and, and, uh, and this year it's me. I've always wanted to come to, uh, to this event and this, this region. It's a special, special event. It's also the first big contest of the season where you got big points. This, this is an event that feeds into qualifying for the world tour, so you have the world's best here. As an ambassador, what exactly is your role? Uh, my role is to get on get on the microphone and, and do uh, the broadcast this is broadcast to the entire world people can log on to WSL.com and watch the event but I've also had had the privilege of, of getting in and around uh, the KZN area and showcasing some of the culture so I got to go to the Lutuli Museum and uh, I, I got to, uh, to actually spend time with Dr. Lutuli uh, his daughter um, and that was really special. We went to the opening of the first public swimming pool here uh, in Quadacuza, and we went to Umfalozi uh, out to, um, to a range in, in the area of uh, Shaka's old hunting grounds, uh, which was really, really, really special. So, I mean, the, the fact that you can go like two hours from here in Belido and be out with the Big Five uh, and be in that like historical heritage place um, of Shaka's uh, is special. This, this is a unique place in the world. Now you touched on it briefly now when you've just uh, mentioned the highlights of your tour to South Africa. What have you enjoyed most about being back home? I like being amongst South Africans, man, you know. Um, it, 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 when I'm here, I feel like I'm home. You know, I was, I was born of exile. When, when my father was in exile for 30 years. So I didn't get to get, come to South Africa for the first time until I was 19. So every trip that I, that I make down here, I get to build a stronger relationship and I, I feel South African. Um, one of the, the real special things is that there are a lot more kids here in South Africa, kids of color, that are getting the opportunity to surf. So I actually spent some time um, with, the, with the, the kids from Surfers Not Street Children uh, in Durban, where you get young kids who are street kids that have had their lives transformed um, by surfing. So for me, the first time that I came to South Africa to surf, they actually tried to arrest me at, at New Pier in 1991. And so yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was able to go and surf with, with 30 young you know, black kids together at a place where I got arrested uh, the, the first time I tried to surf there. And what can people expect from uh, today's events? Uh, today's event is going to be high performance surfing. You know, the waves are, are not very big, but we have a new swell that's starting to show. So you get to see a, a variance of real progressive maneuvers, guys who are doing airs, the kind of things that you might see um, when you watch skateboarding. You'll see some of those things today with the surfing. As you've heard from Sal yourself, it's going to be a brilliant day of surfing. So if you are in or around the Belito area, make your way to Kwadugusa Beach and come and enjoy some surfing. Or else, if you can't make it, visit their Facebook page. You can catch all of the action there. It's been such an awesome time coming to you live from Kwadugusa Beach. But from now, it is back to you guys in the studio.